Welcome to another episode of Extension Gardener on the Crystal Coast. Today, what I want to talk about is how to, to reshape azaleas. Many of these azaleas in this picture here have been pruned into boxes for so long that you have a lot of big sticks and twigs that are starting to, to be on the outside where they're very visible. And azalea should really have a nice feathery look. So what I'm going to do today is remove some of these big sticks and twigs and get rid of some of that old bulky look. Now with some of these, they're so big that you'll need loppers and it's a good idea to go ahead and reach way down inside and remove those with a lopper so you can't see where that cut was made. I'm gonna go ahead and do some more of this cutting and we'll see if we can't go ahead and get these shaped up and make them, make them look really nice again. As you can see by opening this up or cleaning this out, and removing a lot of that dead, you can now see where there's a lot of space in here that the dead wood was, was plugging the, the light up so much. And there's some new growth down in here that's starting to come up that'll now be able to, to come in, fill in those gaps, and hopefully by the end of this summer, be able to produce more blooms on the, the plant and be able to hide this little gap or this blank area right in here where we had to remove so much dead wood. Okay, now that many of the, the big sticks have been cleared out and you can see down into the, the middle of the plant again, Hopefully this plant will be able to take some shape again and get some new growth in the center of it and start to look like an azalea once again. So um, I'm gonna finish pruning a couple more of these plants, um, but I'll let you go. So until next time, happy gardening. <laughs>